All right, fourth graders, this week we're going to talk about value and we are going to talk about shading. So the very first thing we're going to do is draw a value scale. Now value is a term that refers to how light and how dark something is. So we're talking about going from black to white and all of the gray midtones in between. So we're gonna have our medium gray right here in the middle. Now we don't have to do anything with this white spot. You're gonna draw your rectangle just like I did. You're gonna draw two squares at the end, one for white and one for black. On that black square, you're going to try to get it as dark as possible. Now one of the easiest ways to do that is to do something called cross hatching. So I'm pressing really hard and I'm really trying to dig that pencil into the paper. Now I'm going to cross it the other way and I'm going to fill in any little bit of white space that might have been there before and that crisscross motion of my pencil is going to give me a very dark black. There are different kinds of pencils that we can use um, if you're really serious about art and those pencils range from really soft B pencils to the really hard H pencils. Our pencil is a 2B which is considered an HB which is right in the middle and then HB and then as you go into the H's, they get harder and they go by two, four, six, eight, I don't know. And they draw lighter. And then if you want to go darker, you get into the B pencils. And again, they also go two, four, six, eight. So if you have an eight B pencil, it's going to draw much darker than this. You're gonna get a really dark black compared to an eight H, which is going to give you a really light pencil because your your pencil lead is so hard. Our HB is right here in the middle and we're going to give that gray in here. We want to make sure that it's right in between about halfway between black and white. Not too dark and not too light. Okay now if you look at this when you squint your eyes a little bit like pretend the sun is shining in them you'll get a better um, you'll be able to better see the differences between the values, the different levels of light and dark, than you would if you just look at it straight. It also helps to step away from it. So maybe glue this or post this up on your fridge and take, you know, six steps away and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to draw two more lines now for our value scale. And the reason it's called a scale is because we are going from dark to light and you're going to see it turn into a gradient. So I'm going to come from this dark, dark black and I'm going to go up one level. So it should still be pretty dark, but not quite as dark. We're not going fully black yet. We're going dark gray. Now we want one more level of gray in between these two. So we're going to go a little bit lighter. So you can see that these two are really close still. So I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. It's always easier to start lighter and build to darker than it is to go the other way. And I can make this one a little bit darker too. Okay, now if we squint, we can see the difference. We have black, dark gray, um, sort of that medium gray, and then that really medium gray. Now this way we're gonna go lighter. We're gonna go lighter by two shades, and then we're gonna leave the white white. So this one is gonna be really, really light. And you may wanna use the side of your pencil. If you hold it like this, it's a lot easier to get that pencil lead flush with the paper and you don't push it this hard and then we're going to go slightly darker on the next one right now these two are similar they're at the same level so I want to go slightly darker
but not as dark as this one. So when we're squinting, we should be able to see the difference. And if we're getting still a little bit too close, we can always lift it up a little with the eraser. Go back in a little bit lighter. My pencil lead's a little wonky. Okay, so now we can really see our value scale. We are going from black to white, and we are getting gradually lighter into the gray. All our different values are there. All right, now I'm gonna ask you to watch a video on drawing spheres, and he's going to talk about the same concept here. So you've drawn your value scale, and you're gonna watch a second video, then you're going to come back to me, and we are going to practice drawing our sphere too.